my channel. It's me, HT Journals. Today I'm sharing with you a story time. And I wanted to share this story time because after it happened to me, it had me thinking a lot about my interactions with people and the impact I may have on them after we've encountered each other. And I thought that maybe if I shared this story time with other people, it might have you moving a little bit differently when it comes to meeting new people, especially people that are from other countries. A few nights ago, I go out to enjoy the evening at a salsa event. Now, when it comes to downtown Daegu, there is a spot that I always go to called Sam Duk Sabangso. And I think this just means like firehouse, but it's where the taxis normally drop off people and pick them up. I always get dropped off here to go to my salsa event and to come home, I go back to this location to get a taxi to come back. Now, I have been noticing that the past few weeks, it's been really difficult to get a taxi. So I would have to walk up to the next major intersection and hope to get a taxi there. But what has been happening is that the taxi, they don't stop for me. Like they will ride right past me and they will go and pick up the Korean people. So this particular night, it was no different in the sense that I had issues getting a taxi. What was different between this night and all the other nights that I've been out and couldn't get a taxi is that I was in heels, I was in a dress, and so I was really, really cold. My shoes were open toe, which made it even worse because I was feeling everything. And after 15 minutes, my feet were killing me. So I'm at this major intersection and none of the taxis, they're stopping for me. They're picking up the Korean person over there. They're picking up the Korean person right here. And so I'm trying to strategically place myself in a position where the taxis, they will see me and will stop for me and not pass over me. But at the same time, I'm trying not to position myself too close to other people because that'll also make it more difficult for me to get a taxi. The only way I could get home was this taxi. My husband was still downtown, but I didn't feel like clubbing anymore. I just really wanted to go home. So... For me to go back and wait for him to finish, that was just out of the question. So I'm having this difficulty. I noticed this guy comes and he like stands near me. Automatically, they're gonna stop for you and not for me. So just like give me a little space so that I could try to get a taxi too. I know we all trying to get home. But every time I move away, he moves a little bit closer. So a taxi finally does come and I go to it. But then these other guys come and they hold up their phone and they're like, oh, call. And I was like, oh, no. And they meant like, oh, like this is a cacao taxi ride. So I like let them in. And I heard the guy who was trying to inch closer to me earlier go, hmm, lie. Oh, you think they lied? And he's like, yeah. At this point, it had been at least like 15 going on 20 minutes. So I realized then that he's actually trying to help me, not trying to take away my opportunity. His English is poor, by the way, but I'm trying to ask him like, oh, do you have cacao taxi? Like, do you have a cell phone? And he's just like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, okay, can we use it so that you can get me a taxi and after you can get you one? But he's not quite like responding so I'm like all right maybe he doesn't understand so I'm trying to think of another way to ask a question while he is like pointing up the block like up this way better up this way better and I'm just like you know my feet hurt <laughs> I don't think I could really make it I really need to stay still but he's insisting that if we walk up, it will be easier for me to get a taxi. And I point just to make sure. I'm like, up that way, up the block at the corner. And he's like, okay, okay, okay. And I'm like, all right, let's go up the corner. When we get to the corner, which takes a while, by the way, because my feet are killing me. I expect like to stop walking, right? Because we're here at the corner. But he keeps motioning like, you know, up, up. And I was like, you know, I really can't do this. <laughs> like, I was really trying to think of other ways for me to get home at this point because I just could not walk. My feet were, I had not felt a feeling like that in a very long time. But he, he's just insisting that if we walk further, we will find more taxis. So I'm like, okay. 
So we're walking, but I literally have to stop every two minutes because I just, I just can't do it. Like walk faster and he's like trying to hold on to me a little bit. And I'm getting a little frustrated because I'm just like, I can't walk that fast. It's cold. Like just, just give me a little time. And then like he stops. And then like he, he's looking down at his shoes and he starts to take off his shoes and motion for me to put them on. And I'm like, you know, I, I really appreciate that, but then you're gonna be walking barefoot and this is downtown, it's not clean down here. So the gesture was really kind and at that moment, I really knew he was trying to help. Like I knew before, but when he offered to take off his shoes so that I could wear them and not wear my heels, I was like, wow, like he's, re like, he's really being really kind. Now, up until that point of me trying to walk to the corner and wait for the taxi with him, he was trying to make small talk. But I was just in so much pain because of my cold feet and my cold hands and just waiting for a taxi and being frustrated that they've been passing me up for all of the Korean people that I really wasn't trying to indulge in small talk. I'm trying to get home. I'm trying to help me flag down a taxi, but that's not working. I'm trying to figure out another way to communicate to you to use your cell phone, to use Kakao Taxi for me, and that's not working. I'm really not about this small talk right now. <laughs> But at the moment when he took off his shoes, I did soften a little bit. I realized like his main concern was to make sure that my feet don't hurt. We walk about 10 more minutes and we get to the corner of like a CU. And I'm like, I'm done. And I try to tell him, you know what? Thank you so much for your help. Um, I'm gonna be okay. You know, you can go. Like you already wasted a good like 15 minutes on me. I know you want to go home too. Like, it's okay. You can go. I will figure it out. My husband, I know, was still somewhere downtown. Even though it was completely in the opposite direction, I was willing to try to walk back to him, wait until 5 o'clock in the morning. My feet can thaw out. And then together, since he has Wi-Fi, he can do cacao taxi. And then, you know, I'll just get home from there. But he would not leave. So finally... I was able to ask him about his cell phone again, this time much slower than before. And he pulled it out and he was like, yeah, I have a cell phone, but, um, die. <laughs> so he had a cell phone, but it was no battery. So I'm like, let's go in here and see if they have shoes. I need something to put on. If we have to walk further, I need some flat. And he's asking the guy for some shoes for me. As he's doing that, I go in my purse for my wallet and I notice this battery pack that my husband left with me. And I'm like, perfect, you can charge your cell phone. So we go to hook up his cell phone and he has an Android and the, <laughs> the battery pack is for iPhone. And we're just like, ugh. And the guy who works at the counter, he didn't have any charges either. Hopefully they do. So it was just not our day at all. But he did have slippers and he did have socks. At this point, I warmed up completely to this guy um, because he was just being so, so helpful and so patient because I'm sure I was not the friendliest. So I'm like, you know, what do you need? Get you some tea, some hot packs, some hand warmers, get something. And he was like, no, 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 don't worry about me. You taxi, you taxi. And I was just like, you sure? So I'm trying to pick up hand warmers from the counter and, you know, let the guy like ring him, ring him up. And he's like, no, 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 no. We go and we're putting on my shoes. He's damn near putting on my socks and everything for me. And as soon as I put them on, I felt so much better. And I'm like, okay, now we can walk. Now I'm in a better mood to indulge in small talk. I noticed the whole time earlier, he was like thinking, like he, he would talk but he was thinking, I guess, about how to say something else, which was what he was about to tell me now. And what I gathered from his limited English was that he was in America for a little while. He said for school, so I'm guessing about a year. And during that time, he had help from this black lady. And I don't know what she did, but he was able just to say black woman help me because he saw me and I guess I favored this black woman and I don't know if features or just in the commonality that we were both black I don't know but 
because I was also a black woman, he felt almost as if it was his duty to help me because of the black woman who had helped him so many years ago. And I was just like, wow, <laughs> that's profound. And as we neared another intersection, I started to see more taxis. So now I'm going through my purse. I'm rushing to try to find my cell phone because I'm like, this guy, he wouldn't let me buy anything from the store for him. He pretty much took off my heels and put on my shoes, was going to take the shoes off his feet and let me wear them so that I could be more comfortable. Spent the last hour with me in the freezing cold. I didn't even get his name and I'm about to be put in a taxi and I haven't been able to tell him thank you in a way that really shows that other than words. I was looking for my cell phone to be able to get maybe his cacao information. Maybe my husband and I could take him to dinner, like English practice, something, anything. I was willing to help him because I really didn't know how I was gonna get home. As soon as that taxi came, he just opened the door and was like, you taxi. And I was like, wait, do you have a phone number? Like, it, how can I like stay in contact? And he was just like, you taxi. And just told the taxi driver my address and closed the door. All I have in memory of him <laughs> of that night are these sandals and some CU socks. If I was back home in the States, in the climate that we are currently experiencing in the States, women being kidnapped, all of this stuff happening with sex trafficking and all this stuff, would I even be comfortable enough to let somebody walk with me that long? Would I be too afraid to let someone help me to that extent? And then I started thinking about whoever this black woman was. And I started think not knowing her, but wanting to thank her too. So to have somebody treat me a certain way because of the way someone else from my culture treated them and had that kindness kind of trickle down because of whoever that black woman was really had me in my feelings and it had me thinking about the extent in which I impact people. Do I impact people to the extent that years later they're still doing certain things because of how I treated them? I'm definitely thinking this guy who I sure I will never meet again. I don't even know his name. Um, this woman, whoever she is, that helped him so much to the point that he was willing to spend like an hour with me in the freezing cold. If you ever experienced just an extreme act of kindness that really just blew you away. I'm really curious to hear about it, especially if it happened overseas. Like I've had quite a few experiences overseas um, with people who are just like super nice, but I think this one takes the cake. But I just want to thank you for watching. I wanted to share this just to get you moving a different way. If perhaps if you were like me and maybe you didn't have patience for certain things maybe you're already the type of person that you try to help out foreigners or just other people maybe this might spark you to go just that extra mile because the impact you have on that person could really come back and help somebody else in need thank you so much for watching and see you next time bye